Here I miss. I'm at my secret hiding place in front before I get the AMVET. And, uh, oh. <coughs> I can't stop coughing. <coughs> you know, it's just a reflex now. It's not anything that's uh, wrong with my lungs. Just a reflex. So, anyway, lunch is uh, over there. And lunch was awful anyway. <coughs> really. Look. I had chicken tenders in a bag from Wally World. Processed an extra what percentage point for the taxes. It was a processed food in a bag, so that's 1% more on my tax, and <clears throat> so I had the, some of them today, in fact, I had two, they were freaking monsters, <laughs> you know, monsters, but yeah, they were huge, <laughs> so I had two, or well, I should say one and a half, but I just kind of doubled them down, not really thinking about what I was doing, God, I got stop sleeping in my chair. <laughs> I've been watching this <clears throat> prime movie Suits and <laughs> missing half of it because I close my eyes and I I go to sleep for a second. Wake up a minute later, what happened? Yeah, I just missed a half hour. Okay. <laughs> That's why I thought it was a minute, but no, it was a half hour. Alright, I guess so. <clears throat> so anyway, I had the chicken there. While I was watching suits today, then I uh, got up and I said, oh shit, 45 degrees out. I'm going to go for a ride, and my rides consist of getting on my bike, riding south to my secret hiding place, doing my thing at the secret hiding place, getting on my bike, riding east. <coughs> on Route 205 till I get to Hambet in Brooklyn, Connecticut. It's on the left-hand side. Got an open flag in front of it, man. I never noticed it before two years ago, three years ago. <laughs> no, I never did. And so I'm going to go there and I got two chips and I got money. I don't know how much I got, but I got two chips. That means I can drink for free today. Yeah. Uh, I usually leave something for Sarah anyway. But yes, I have two chips for free. And when I pay the bar, I usually leave Sarah something out of A20 that I usually put on the bar. Depending on the people, but there's usually eh, a tip plus 20 people. Uh, Twenty dollars worth, I guess, but with the tip, with the, with the, with the tip in it, but, yeah, you know. So I'll go in there today. Gonna have me one. We'll see what one tastes like. I'll sit for a minute, and uh, I never ever say to myself, "Gary, that's it." Well, not ever. I have a couple of times said, "That's it, I'll one." Real, you know, I'm not staying survive. But I got two chips, so he kind of sways me on the way of, uh, yeah, shit, I got two chips, I can get that other one. You know, it's not windy at all today, but uh, me riding the bike, I got my hands out, they're cold. Not that bad, though. I brought my gloves. How about that? No? Okay. Oh, I gotta watch myself. You guys just can't put the camera anywhere, you know. Oh. <coughs> that sign's gone. Mailbox. So here I'm is. <coughs> Last day of 2019. Tomorrow is the 1st of January, 2020. 
Come on, boys, clean up this road. So it's a new year for me. <clears throat> January 30th will be my 70th year on this planet. Yep. <laughs> I know. Gary. Did you know you're riding a bicycle? <clears throat> yeah, somebody told me that. Every time I go to the end, that somebody comes out upstairs and says, Hey, is that your bike out there? Sure is, man. I've been here coming here for a little while, and you, everybody knows it. Yeah. <clears throat> I will agree with the thoughts that you people just had. But I'm not going to go there. I don't need to. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. Then I'm going to go home and I'm going to either be sick again or just gouge my, uh, gorge myself sick with the junk that I have for New Year's Eve, baby. 2020. Holy shit. <clears throat> Holy shit. Well, <clears throat> such is life, people. We all have our own way of being ourselves. all have our own way of being ourselves. Yes. But maybe in the spring. I'm not really sure yet. What I, if I do? I don't have to. I'm not going to accept spending money on it. And pissing off my wife. Uh, <laughs> I was on my motorcycle riding around one day and I stopped in the middle of Danielson and there was a little tattoo parlor on the center street. So I hop in there and I say, uh, yeah, I'd like these three letters on my right arm. Like this. Okay. How much? Ten bucks. Back in 19... 85, 86, I don't know, uh, because my kid came to us in June of 84. And since then I put that on my arm. And when I went home with it that afternoon, she, my wife, of course, saw it because I, oh, honey, look what I did. Yes, I honey, what I did. Whoa, okay. Two weeks later, she come down off of her trip and kind of was apologizing for being like that. Two weeks! <laughs> I know, huh? She was pissed when I got the snake on my left arm. She was pissed when I got the lines on my arm. She was pissed when I got the peace sign on my arm with the star. Yeah, when it comes to doing stuff for me, my wife is not a happy girl. Yeah, well, why do you think I'm going to Ambest today? <laughs> Galley! What, are you going to go have a couple with your buddies and just not be with your honey? Yeah, she said it's all right. I ask her every time I leave the house. Honey, I'm going for a ride. Okay. She knows it and I know it. That's where I go. I'm going for a ride. I come down here to Aunt Benedict. They got beat up. Yeah, 
Ian's a cold. I know, but Gally off on me. Alright, we're in. I got metal. I think I got everything else, so.